Hello Virgo, it is your mid-July to August reading of this current year. It's for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, of course, so if this resonates with you, cool. If not, do not worry about it. Just a card game after all, right? So, we're going to see what's going on with y'all for this time frame, right? right. We got... Uh, trouble sleeping, issues with what might be coming ahead for you, and needing to take a leap of faith somewhere, wherever it is you're going to in this. Now, your thoughts and feelings are based on the lover, so you could be dealing with a Gemini. And, yeah, you definitely could be dealing with a Gemini. Look at that. Definitely could be dealing with a Gemini. Uh, lover situation... Twin flame situation all around, like, mmm. Yeah, something's not starting on that. Something is not starting. I totally forgot to flip the cards for Leo. And they had like three aces. Damn. Oh well. Let's see. Page of Pentacles. Someone trying their best to, like, give something that's worth a shit. I know they have like a very good job with like their lack of skillmanship. It's like the, the beginning of a novice, if you will. Could be you, Virgo. Um, also Capricorn Taurus. And then here's Leo, Sag, Aries. Well, everybody's here with just the full outright since he's zero. Are you afraid of starting from the very beginning right here? Like, it's starting over at zero. Because here's like a... Okay, here's like a fucked up thing, right? This is number four, this is number six. But with both, it's like an I and a V, and it's like, look at that. I'm totally going like that way. Very interesting, Virgo. Uh, but you got someone who wants to bitch somebody out like they're their mother, so... <laughs> that could easily be you, bitching people out like you are their mother. Your vibration is wanting to come back in from, Well, you know, you're on the cold. Yeah, uh, four, five, and six. Okay. Alright, Virgo, let's see. I feel like you think that there's nothing to start this way, so that's why you're working your damnedest uh, as quickly as possible to get to either of these scenarios. It's like you're working on trying to make this relationship happen, and now you're trying to make it speedy to where you feel like you're in a real partnership with somebody, because you've been left out in the cold, it seems like. You're anxious about starting at the zero, but it's like, you know what, fuck it. Who cares? Um, with his nine of swords, someone is really holding on to their feelings and looking at them. Not in like a bad way, but it's like they're not being really emotional. Could be a Cancer Pisces or Scorpio. Who has a really shitty act. <laughs> like, they, sure, I'll be honest with you. I'll be honest about how much of a piece of trash you are. I just asked if you wanted coffee. You know, like, just being aggressive and hostile for no reason. Okay, this is like, you're examining with the Queen of Cups. This person who, you know, they're kind of a dick to you, but somehow they always make it seem like, oh, well, you don't give as much to me as I do to you. You know, this is like the accountant right here, but he's in red, so he can easily be the devil, right? This person might even be like, you know, like, well, why are you giving so much to this person? I need more kind of thing, right? They're all, like, constantly greedy, and it's like, it puts you in your feelings, but it's not like you don't know how to, like, hold that those emotions and shit, Virgo. Like, you, you, like, you can pay out when someone's trying to play you with emotions and shit. I'll give you that much. 
And then it's like you guys don't understand your emotional creatures. But you're really good at holding that shit in, too. And it's like... I don't know, it's like, every time you try to like express your emotions to this person, they just throw it in your face that you're not giving as much to them as you are anybody else. So it's like he just holds your tongue, and you're just like, okay, I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna hold all these emotions in. And at some point, I'm gonna look them over. And then I'm just gonna lash out in really passive-aggressive ways. We got the full right here. You wanna? I feel like you wanna go, 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 go somewhere else. Like you're kind of hesitating, and then like zoom, you're on the move. Uh. Mmm. You feel like whatever control you have is being abused. Red once again. You're the one taking off in red. You know, like you can't move. Hmm. Okay, so yeah, you're scared of taking a leap of faith, not because you don't think you'll accomplish anything, but it's kind of like you feel like you don't have the ability to, and that love isn't out there for you, which is just kind of like, I think you're being a little more skeptical of what's out there than what you need to be. I have no reason, like, you know, one of those things where it's just like, someone wants, doesn't want to take the action to love because they've been hurt so much and you're grumbling, but at the same time it's like, you can't have control of everything, so... There's no reason not to take a leap of faith. Like, you know, if you get away from the shit that you can't control, you can at least create things that can that you have some potential to add into. Or whatever. Um, lovers up here could be Gemini. Definitely could be Gemini with these two. Especially since they're both a pretty much a mirror of each other, really. As above, so below kind of shit, right? Like, literally. Um... Someone's spying on it. Like, this lover's card, right? Definitely could be Gemini. Um, ew. Okay. Someone's looking back on this relationship, seeing that they got out of possibly something bad, could be involving a Capricorn as well, but hindsight is twenty twenty. and it's like, yeah, these relationships were not good for me. I'm glad I got out of them. Um, caused me to do some really, uh, bad things I did not like doing in this one relationship. But then we get to the Four of Wands down here. Which is much more tempered. Definitely below the surface 3D. You see their happy faces right there. There's love at being traveled. Um... Patience. Oh, okay, that's cute, Virgo. Look it, right? It's like with this coupling right here, someone rides in because they were too impatient to wait to let this cat out of the bag with the Cancer or Scorpio. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces right there as well, and uh, Sagittarius. It's like someone couldn't wait to let it out. That's actually really cute. It's like I left this relationship to be with this person. Two different people. That's actually really cute. But kind of weird, because I hope you didn't do something um, too terribly bad, but I feel like it's more along the lines of you're afraid of leaving somebody because no one else will love you. Which, that's silly. Everybody loves somebody. Wow, there are a lot of aces. Okay. Um. I'm not even going to bother with the aces this time because I just, I just don't have the patience today. But... Well, they're all the same anyway, like nothing's beginning. Ace of Wands couldn't begin because there was no clarity in it. Something to do with over here, with this nastiness, right? Like, some potential couldn't come up because, like, there wasn't any truth in it. Uh, someone needs to recover from that shit. I feel like you were so focused on the person you were dealing with that, like, you might have lost your self-esteem. If this person made you think that no one else would be able to love you. Um, 
Oh, like, oh, how do you expect to, like, that people will care for you when you can't even take care of me? I'm asking you for very little kind of shit or something, and it's just like, you know, those people can fuck right off if they do that shit, because that's not cool. Especially if you're using it as, like, a way of getting someone to feel like there's nobody else out there. Yeah, options are shit out of luck. Like, no good options in this. Um, you can't start something with somebody when you're not even aware of the fact that, like, you need to fix yourself up because all the options this person has given you is not good. Now we got the Page of Pentacles over here who's trying to gingerly give their cup over to the other side. Uh, it's not much, but at least it's a good beginning, right? Um, there's a thousand yard stare. <laughs> King of Cups. Um, holding his feelings back. Possibly dealing with a Libra. Once again, someone who might not be being fair. An air sign. That is Libra's card. I feel like, in having to make a choice, yeah, I feel like someone's choosing between a Libra or a Gemini. It's like, the Libra's a dick, and the Gemini, you know, like, uh, I still like you. I still like you. I'll, I will run to you. I will totally run to you. It's like you're being tentative on figuring out this person really wants you, and you're kind of scared of taking that leap of faith because you're not entirely sure, so you're just testing the waters out. And that's really adorable, man. That really is. <laughs> Alright. Um, Knight of Wands, someone's running away because after a good considerable amount of time, they realize um, what this is being given to them is just, like, you can't give your good potential to it. It's like you don't even want to bother with that. Like, you still love this, but you're not willing to, um, let this opportunity go and end up regretting it either. I feel like if you did give that pentacles, the page of pentacles over this way, it just, it wouldn't lead you to anywhere. Or you still have this idea of thinking that, like, this person might reject you. And you wasted your cups, but it's just kind of like, mmm. I don't know. Like, this is you making the assessment, so you would know better than me. Jeff. Virgo. I was called you Gemma. Yeah. I think you're choosing between two people. Because you do feel left out in the cold. Especially from this person over here. They, I, I feel like they just don't make you happy. Even when you try to be happy, they just make you unhappy. You're just a stick in the mud. But, that is your reading, Virgo. Um... Thanks for watching my video. You can like, share, subscribe if you would like to. No pressure. I'm not doing personals just yet. I'm waiting until the t after the 10th. But as soon as I do, I will let you know. And you guys be safe. Love your faces. Goodbye.